it's been a while since I've done a curriculum spotlight. So today I thought I would share one called the Key to Math Series. If you are new here, I am Trisha. I am a homeschooling mom to three kids, ages 10, uh, 14, 11, and 8. And this is our 10th year of homeschooling. And my curriculum spotlights, I just take you inside a piece of curriculum we're using, talk to you about why I like it, how we use it, that sort of thing. And then I'll put the camera down and take you inside of it. And this came about because I found that the best way for me to learn about curriculum is to talk to someone on a one-to-one -one basis and get my hands on their curriculum and look at it. Now, obviously, I can't do that exactly, but I, in my spotlights, I try to share with you in the same way that I would someone who I'm talking with face-to-face. -face. And the questions that I want to ask when I'm looking at new curriculum. So today, like I said, this is the key to math series. Um, first of all, you can buy these on Rainbow Resource. That's where I purchased them. Um, they run five eighty a book, and then you can buy a set if you want to buy like the whole series of the different series. There are let me so I don't forget read off of here. Um, there's a key to fractions, key to decimals, key to percents key to geometry, key to algebra, key to measurement, and metric measurement. Now, these can be used as a complete curriculum if that's what you want to do. Um, I do not. I have used them so far just as a supplement and based on what I've seen, I'm not sure that I would want to do it as a full curriculum, but that's an option. I know people do it and successfully. It's going to de really depend on your students. Um, there are teacher guides that you can purchase separately, and they run about nine dollars, and they cover they'll each cover like three to four of the books. So you're not buying one per book, but you may be buying a couple, one or two, maybe three per series. The algebra, the algebra and geometry are the um, big sets. I think there's 10 books in each of those. And then the other ones are like three to four books in a series. Now, like I said, I did, I don't use these as a full curriculum, but I think they are excellent for supplement and review. And what I love about them is that each book has a focus. So last year for algebra, my daughter actually took Algebra 1 two years ago, and then last year, for various reasons, I didn't want to move her into Geometry yet. And so we used the year to go more in depth on some parts of Algebra and also to really firm up other parts. And that's how we use these. So I went through this series and found the books that were areas that I thought she was weaker in, so that we could just focus in on those. So this one was graphs, um, and they progress from like the simplest and then get more complex as you go through the book. Um, and then square roots and quadratic equations, and again, they each one starts simpler and gets more complex. So that's what I like about them, is that you can choose this books specific to whatever it is, whatever needs your child has to, um, that they need a little more practice. They, so they can be complete or supplemental. Um, I love that they are to the point. There is not a lot of instruction in here. So if you have a child who needs a lot of instruction, these may not be these may not be the best. I think, I didn't look in the teacher guides, but I think they're only answers. I don't think there's um, explanations in them. So within it, each, there's different sections and they might, the one page is the longest I've seen them have. A lot of them are just, um, and there's like a half a page of explanation. Um, and so 
if you do need a lot, this one just has, appears the instruct or the teaching and then down here they start practicing. So if you have a child who needs a lot of instruction, this may not be the right series for you. If, but if you're using it as a review and so they have it but they just need a little more practice, the amount of instruction is just enough to kind of jog their memory of what what they should be doing and then the work. There is not a lot of repetition, which I like, but again, if you have a child, especially if you're using this as a full curriculum, if you have a child who um, needs a lot of repetition to really grasp a concept, again, this may not be the right one. My daughter tends to need a little more than my boys do, so this would have been difficult for her to use as a complete curriculum, I think. But it was perfect for reviewing this and that. My boys, maybe, I don't know. We'll see when we get to it. The grade levels they show is like four grades four to 12, depending on what like grade four would be more the percents and fractions and decimals, cons to the program. Um, there may not be enough practice. And I think, I like it builds. Like I said, it starts simple and goes more complex. So I think within a full book, there is a good amount of practice. But if, if you want to just take like from within the book and have them do this page or that page, then there may not be enough. The other con is that they, you can't reuse them. So, unless you have your child not work inside the book. Each book is inexpensive, but to buy the whole is, um, you know, like algebra I think was $90 for the whole set. And you can buy textbooks for less than that. I mean, the one we used for her algebra was $10, including shipping used um, from Amazon. So it's gonna just obviously depend on what you want to do. They are good books. I think they, um, I really liked that I could just choose what we, what we needed to supplement and review. I think especially, um, I know fractions and decimals can be tough for a lot of kids to understand. So I like that, again, that you can just choose um, the books, one or two, or, or all of them, and do that. It, these are easy to implement. There's no prep, open and go. They would travel really well. So if you want to put something like this inside an on the go bag so that you just have something when you need to go, these would be a great choice for that. Um, they are very small, each one. So um, they'd make a great, yeah, they'd make great for on the go travel which is how we use the CLE, uh, Christian Light Education Math, which I have a video on that one too. Um, we used, I chose those at that time because I needed something that was easy to pack on the go. Um, open and go, like work on their own math, independent math. So at, that was great at a younger age. At an upper level, higher level, these would make a great, I don't know. The next level of that kind of math. Um, do I use it now? I do not use it right now because she's out of algebra. And so far in geometry, she's not needed anything. We will, um, I will keep an eye and just if there's anything that comes up that I think she needs more practice with, then I'll certainly grab them because, like I said, you know, six bucks for one, 580. Um, if, if she only needs, work on one or two areas, then they're a great way to do that. I am really considering using them. Ben will finish Beast Academy probably next year, but he's, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with math for him afterwards. Um, I don't know. So these may be a good, a good work for him. I've considered this combined with Life of Fred because we also do I'm afraid with him um for middle school math so maybe I don't know 
so while I'm not using them right now, it's just because there's not a need, but I definitely plan to use them again. And I don't think, I think that's all. If you have any questions about this program, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Now I'm going to flip you down and let you take a look inside of them. So this is book eight, Graphs. There's a small table of contents and then each one gives uh, how whatever the topic is, is used in real life. Which I think is a nice little addition. So you can see, obviously we start out very basic using ordered pairs and how to name points. So we've got the instruction and then they jump straight into doing it. And then a little more instruction. And then now we're taking you no know, from a table. So you can see that it's definitely kind of a definite progression. So then we've gotten to this. Oh, graphing equations. And then graphing them with one variable. Slope of a line. I like that they give kind of a visual of what what it really means. And then they do have a practice test. The end. there is not testing otherwise. So that's what it really just looks like. So they short instruction and then they get right into it and then a little more explanation scattered throughout the material. And then on the back you can see all the different topics for the algebra and how they're broken down. Oh, it says answers and notes, so there must be some kind of instruction information in the teacher's guides. And then there are all the topics. Okay. So again, if you have any questions, please drop me a, a comment down below. Um, if you don't already subscribe, I'd love for you to hit the button. Thanks for watching.